Uh, very good morning, my friends. Welcome once again to One Coin Only. We're doing our little morning warm up today with our first stream of uh, hopefully three today. We also have the Times of Co op coming on today, which will make it four. So we've got a really, really big day. Hope you're ready. Hope you're ready for some fun. We're going to be playing Space Harrier Trilogy today. And we've got Inu and Chef in here already. Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming in. So we're going to be playing Space Harrier the original, Space Harrier 2, and then for the very, very first time here on One Coin Only, guys. We are going to be playing, uh, what, did I, what was I going to say? We are also going to be playing Space Harrier 3D. So yeah, we've got some cool games coming today. Hope you enjoy. Can't wait to hang out with you guys. And uh, I hope you've been Welcome having an awesome weekend. Okay, let's get started, hey? How you doing, Brandon Fish? Good to see you, man. What's going on today anyway, guys? As you can probably tell by the sound of my voice, I'm still waking up a bit, which is... A little bit frustrating because I got up about two two hours ago. I had like something to eat, uh, a, a vitamin drink, and uh, you know I did all the right things to prepare for the night. And uh, I'm still not quite there yet. But if any game's gonna wake you up in a hurry, it is definitely our uh, space area here. It's very high intensity. Thankfully, since uh, the first game uh, gives you unlimited credits, obviously, uh, I can read the chat, no problem. Hey, how, how's Dead by Dawn? Well, what's, what's Dead by Dawn? I don't even know what Dead by Dawn is. You, you just completely confused me. <laughs> and uh, Brandon's going out later for a birthday party, and they're going to go... With the, oh, cool, I hope you have a nice weekend with the missus. Mine was supposed to come tonight, she cancelled. <laughs> That's alright, at least I get to stream. I love streaming, I don't like people pulling me away from streaming, so... Out of every negative, there's a positive. How you doing, Clarissa? Good to see you. You can't sleep? I'm sorry to hear, my friend. Boy, you're in good company. We've got Peyron in here. Good morning to you, good sir. Oh, how's Dark Souls? I, well, I haven't played it yet. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to play it until I live stream it. I want to do a first impressions uh, video of Dark Souls on Switch, uh, but we're going to start doing that in the late night hours, and you know, kind of give us a grindy sort of game or something to do. I'm going to finish Dragon Quest first as well. I got a lot of stuff I need to do. <laughs> I need to sit at my computer 24 hours a day at this rate. What else is happening, guys? How's the sound and everything? Can you hear me okay? And uh, as I've probably mentioned to you guys before, rail shooters are some of my favourite genres. Uh, the space area games are some of my favourite games. This isn't usually my genre, I'm not usually a shooter guy. But there's just something just I've always found so uh, charming about this franchise. <laughs> that's okay. You think I sound Australian? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> You're a crack up. Geez, you only just figured that one out. What's been going on with you, Payron? Any news? There you go. In the arcade version to make it three levels without losing a life. It's actually pretty good. I'll take it, even if I die now. I feel pretty good about myself. <laughs> it's a really good start, actually. I think the furthest I've gotten without losing a life in this game is probably level five. It's probably about 17 levels in this in total. 17 or 18. Oh, you went to your little cousin's birthday party? <laughs> nice, I hope it was a good day. How old's your little cousin? Are oh, you chilling at your best friend's house? You're chilling at the one point only house. You're also our best friend, Payron. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Take that sucker, we got him. Oh, she's well, that's so cute. <laughs> so you're playing like Pass the Parcel and stuff. Oh my gosh, I miss that game. Who used to play Pass the Parcel growing up? You used to get so excited about playing Pass the Parcel. And you know, you know, each layer of like wrapping paper would come off come off like one after the other. Until in the end, like, the prize was so small, all you got was like a matchbox car or something. <laughs> what 
was so funny, you always thought that the, the, the parcel was going to be big and it was always really small in the end. I don't know, I used to find it funny. There we go, level 5, boom, let's do it. Oh, bonus stage first. I can't believe, I, I'm not bragging, but I'm just surprised more than anything, but I can't believe I haven't lost a life yet. We know that's going to change. Especially once we get to these middle levels, they're a bitch, but seriously. <laughs> I'll take it. At least the intro of this video is good. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Are you in bed while she's at work? Keeping a bed warm, hey? You're going oh, I'm hey, Ron. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a little bit inappropriate. Oh, I'm glad to hear you guys well. Thanks for coming in. the morning warm-up. As soon as I'm finished here, we've got the Titan to co-op coming on. And, uh, I'll be on over in Facebook land. And then I'm hoping, as long as I don't fall asleep, guys, uh, that I'll be doing some Hyrule Warriors as well for you over on YouTube before I go to bed. So I want this to be a really, really productive day. Shooty, shooty and all that. I think the reason, like, if you play Space Harry a lot, it is really, really highly patternized. And, uh, one of the secrets about Space Area is as long as you keep moving, the chances of you getting hit are a lot lower. But what makes it hard is obviously all those uh, obstacles that are floating towards you as well. But the secret in Space Area is to simply just keep moving. Floating City? I don't know of this Floating City. Where can I watch a documentary on this Floating City? That's the first I've heard of it. So yeah, level 7, hey? Yeah, there you go. I'm finally dead. Well, that's my record, I think, in this game for not losing a life. That's pretty cool. So hopefully we don't downward spiral now. <laughs> Keep moving. You can see there's just a lot more obstacles the further you get in this game. Now it's all now it's all crashing down on me. <laughs> it's alright. Shake it off, Rick. You're just gonna shake it off like that's three lives in one level. Fuck I knew that was gonna happen. Alright, gonna just shake it off like Tay Tay, Rick. Jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness. Serves me right, that's karma for bragging. Oh here we go, new boss. Look on YouTube for the floating city. Alright, we'll do, man. I kind of, when I want to relax, I've kind of been into watching documentaries lately, hey. And, uh, yeah, whenever I watch a documentary, it's always on YouTube as well. Oh, yeah, Forbidden Land. How you going, my friend? It's just, uh, I think, I think, I think, take the addictive shooting gameplay aside. I think the one thing that was always so fascinating about Space Harrier is it's just a beautiful game to look at. Now you look at the art and graphic style here, guys, it's really, really hard to believe that this game came out in 1985. It was incredibly ahead of its time, both in uh, music and graphics. So yeah, kind of, it's interesting. I read up on the history of this game on Wikipedia as well. Just, uh, you know, just talk about the advanced technology they used to make this game. Oh, they think it's a ghost city. Here we go, another boss here. We've still got plenty more levels, guys. So we're also going to be doing Space Harrier 2 after this, guys. And for the first time ever, I'm going to be streaming Space Harrier 3D. Because uh, I finally got the code to take the 3D mode off so we can actually play that in 2D today. So that'll uh, be pretty cool. It's a really, really good game. Alright, so you have to do this level, I think, a total of three times, and each time it gets quicker and quicker. This is not, not going to let this sunfish intimidate you. As you can see, a lot's going on. <laughs> You are not going to get me, my friends. I'm not scared. 
Come on, can we, can, can we perfect this level? We can. Oh my gosh, I didn't die. I'll take it. <laughs> oh wow. Ah! Asshole. <laughs> Get ready. Serves me right. That's karma for bragging. That's why you should always be humble, people. <laughs> You're doing uh, great. Oh well, keep going. So yeah, the game. This is one of my favorite games of all time. This one. Like, you know, I always mention how Castlevania Symphony of the Night's one of my favorites, and Final Fantasy X is my favorite, and Legend of Zelda is my favorite. Uh, okay, they're my top three, but this is in my top five. This is definitely my most favorite casual game. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not my favorite game anymore. Alright, boss died. <laughs> you can see I've got a little high score there on the top uh, left hand of the screen. Hopefully we can beat that today. level coming up in a little minute too. It's always a nice breather to do those bonus levels. Damn it! Get ready. Hey, good morning, Mike. Good to see you, man. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, crap. How you doing, sir? Get ready. You having a good day? Oh my gosh. Man, Get I went ready. pretty much the whole game without losing a single life, and now they're all dropping like right flies now, for real. <laughs> they took away your sub? Why'd they take away your sub for? Did you unsubscribe? Uh, good to see you, Bill. Thanks for hanging out, man. How you doing? How's the rest of your weekend? Just warming up the day here. Oh, good. All right, good night, Clarissa. I hope you can get some sleep, my friend. Uh, I don't know, so, I mean, it's probably... Really? Uh, this is Space Harrier. We're doing the whole trilogy today, Captain Bill. This is a classic franchise by Sega. And they've got Space Harrier 1, which is a classic, which is this one. Also, Space Harrier 2 on the Genesis. You're doing great. And then for the first time, we're going to be doing uh, Space Harrier 3D. Ooh, you can see, Bill, this is a stunning game. It came out in 1985. Oh, yeah, I, nothing to complain about, Bill. My weekend was Jeff pretty Red. good, sir. I had a really, really good weekend, man. So, I'm just going to go right through to the end now. We've done that bonus level. You can see there's just a lot going on now. We're getting towards the end of this one. The second game takes a little bit longer to finish. It'll take about a half an hour. And I don't, I don't, I've never finished uh, Space Harrier 3D, but we'll give it our bank fair shot today. But we'll finish the first two. Sunfish, how you doing, Dario? Good to see you. Oh, nothing even hit me, see? <laughs> Get ready. Whatever. Whatever, bruh. Whatever. Oh my gosh, there's too much going on in this level. <laughs> I am a lot Get rested. Ready. As I said, I've been using the melatonin and while I'm a little bit groggy still, at least I've had a bit of rest. Ah! Damn it. Levels yeah, is such an arsehole. Some bitch, it's damn right. <laughs> Alright. 
There's only a handful of levels left after this one. Uh, the final level is... Oh, welcome back, Mikey! <laughs> We're gonna give Mikey a shout-out. I don't know what happened before, but Mikey's just become a, a sponsor again. Thank you so much, Mikey. This one's going out to you. Emilio! <laughs> Thank you, man. That's no problem. Shit happens, brother. Appreciate the support. There could have been a bug or something, man. Unfortunately, YouTube's known for them. Ah, oh, man, no problem, honestly. I'm just happy that you're here, sponsor or no sponsor. You're doing great. Oh, okay, so they're gonna move towards me now, are they? Get ready. What else is going on, guys? Also, a big shout out to everyone. Okay, so I said a big shout out. Get ready. <laughs> no, a big shout out to everyone watching in the background, guys. Oh man, I'm really, really disappointed. I got halfway through this game without losing a single life, and now I've lost about ten. <laughs> more than that actually. That's alright, that's base area view. I mean, how these arcade games are designed to uh designed to, to take your freaking money. You think YouTube's out to get you? I just think they've got a bug in the system to be honest my friend. I think that's all it is. Right, I'm gonna shoot the head of this dude. Come at me, bro. Again, the bosses are the easiest part of this game. The levels are tough, the bosses are easy. You just have to keep moving in a clockwise or even anti clockwise direction, and they won't hit you. That goes with every space area game, actually. So it's almost kind of like the bosses are a little bit of a rest zone. Which is fine, because the rest of the game is fucking hard. I'm <laughs> trying to get your combo for delay on one second, brother. To so, move the pole towards you. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I did, you're right. Ah. Oh. I just got killed by the air then, but anyway. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Get ready. Oh, likewise, Mikey. That's alright, man. Don't think too much of it. I appreciate you, sir. Here we go. What's this one? I think there's one more level before the final level. There we go. We are pretty close. Yep, this is the second last level here. Good morning, Joshy. Good to see you, brother. How you doing, sir? You well? Get ready. Uh, so I'm just doing my thing, bro. Losing about a bazillion lives while I play my favorite game. What's going on with you? How's your little brain? How's the family? Get ready. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna start blaming you guys so I feel better about myself, damn comment box. <laughs> oh, come on, there was no way of avoiding that one. Get ready. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Um, probably almost get through the whole game now without losing a single life, because we just got the boss run here. Shit, those damn holes, man. We go. We've got that boss. Alright, so here we go. This is just a boss run now. Where we have to do the bosses all over again. And then after this, we're going to go straight on to Space Harrier 2 on the Sega Genesis. Yeah, you're out to a daily breakfast with the boss. We found a nice family style place to frequent. Oh, great! What are you having for breakfast, my friend? There we 
go, we got him. It is a hard, a hard game. I'll do. I'll probably end up doing a little bit better in the Sega Genesis version because it is a console port. But uh, the bosses are easy, really. Honestly, the hard bit about this game is honestly just the levels themselves. As you can see, I'm smashing through the bosses here. This, this boss is actually the second level bosses, and it's one of the hardest bosses in the game. And what else you guys got planned today? Just it's Sunday in your time, right? Let's realize it's Monday morning here, which must mean it's Sunday in the United States. So what do you got guys got planned for Sunday? Alright, take that you jerk off. Ah, uh, damn, Mikey, I'm sorry to hear, man. Hopefully it's not too long a day, hey? We need, uh, Nikki Torres to come in here and get us some of those donuts. Alright, so what's this one? I'm pretty sure this is probably the last one here. Ironically, one of the easier ones. Go straight on to the next game. You see, the hero work life is simple. Yeah, best not to overcomplicate it, right? Awesome. I win 20 lives later. <laughs> it doesn't look like I'm going to get my high score today, unfortunately. As you can see, my current score is on the right, my high score is on the left. Let's see where I'm ranked anyway. Uh, oh, hang on. No. no. I've got fifth. That's fine. Alright, well, let's load up the next game, guys. We have the Sega Genesis here. And we're going to load up Space Harrier 2. And then, as I said, we're doing Space Harrier 3D for the first time. So we're going to load up Space Harrier 2 very, very quickly. And uh, here we go. I'm going to have to use a code just to put on easy mode too. It's not going to make it that easy, trust me. Here we go, Space Area 2. I think it's just B and start for that. You have to go out for the birthday party? That's alright, Brandon. We'll see you later on, man. Falcor is in this game. Yes. <laughs> Never ending story reference. Oh, got to reset. Maybe it's A and start. <coughs> we'll, we'll save here. Just so I can uh, put the code in. Oh, here we go. Difficulty, easy. Yep, absolutely. All right, let's do this. All right, I'm pretty excited. So you can actually pick any level to start from in this game. Um, you can go all the way over here to these really, really hard ones. But it's best to just, you know, increase the difficulty organically and adjust to the game. So I always like to start from the beginning. So the frame rate in this version is a little bit choppy, but this is a console game. So it might take a little bit of a minute to get used to. This is, this is, this is a, one of the oldest Sega Genesis games ever to be released. This came out in 1988. Well, that's when it was copyrighted anyway. So, yeah. So, no, even though it's a little bit choppier compared to the arcade version, there's still a nice bunch of, like, colourful levels in this, awesome bosses, all that kind of thing. Nice cruisy start here, not too much in the way. that guy was that dragon there was actually uh, the first level boss in the last game he's just a little cameo there oh, here we go I should probably put rapid fire on this controller that would have helped 
Alright, come at me, sucker. Alright, we gotcha. This one will take a little bit longer, as I said. This is probably a half an hour, 35 minutes. There's lots to line up the gameplay today. Um, I'm probably going to do Power Rangers and Ninja Baseball Batman on Facebook later on. Uh, times of co-op are yeah, coming ready? on with some beat-em-ups here very soon as well. And then to end the day, I'm coming on YouTube and I'm going to do some Hyrule Warriors. So uh, times of co-op are going to be streaming once and I'm going to be streaming a total of three times today. So this stream is just a small one to warm up. And then I'm going to do the main streams afterwards. So yeah. I, view, I am kind of spontaneous, but I like to have a plan as well. You, you, you know me, Bill. You're spot on. Just depends on the day and how I'm feeling. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Ready? You don't get unlimited continues in this, so I've got to start stockpiling these lives. It's alright. Snap it. We could always try one more time if I lose all my lives. I'm not in a hurry. But... I find these earlier levels are a little bit harder because, uh, I don't know, I feel the later levels have more flow. Come on, really? Fuck. Get ready. Three lives already. Jesus. How is Hyrule Warriors? Jonesy, Hyrule Warriors is great, thank you, my friend. I haven't played a lot of it yet. I've just done a couple missions because I want to save most of it for when I'm on with you guys. So it's nice and fresh, you know? But, uh... It'll take a few parts. The missions all go for a very long time. Oh, there we go. Come on, we got you. I believe I lost three lives in that level. That's annoying. It's alright. Shake it off, Rick. <laughs> I've recovered from worse than this. Really weird. You can see we've got like the space jellyfish in here. It's kind of like underwater, but not underwater this level. It's weird. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> As I said, I love the Space Area franchise. I mean, it's not obscure in the sense that it's not well known, but not many people like this game as much as what I do, if that makes sense. I'm probably being a little bit selfish today playing this. <laughs> oh, really? Get ready? Oh, thank you, Bill. Sunbish TV, that's right. We're all just a bunch of sunbishes. Alright, there we go. That's alright. That's only one life lost. That's all good. We can recover from that gonna do one level after this and we get the bonus level. Now I like the arcade version. Uh, in the bonus level in the Genesis version it's your opportunity to uh, earn some extra lives by getting a high score. And uh, you get to do that twice in this game as well. You think it's got a gyrus feel to it? I think so too. Gyrus was kind of like uh, a rail shooter sort of. Of sorts. I, I can accept that. I think it's a fair comparison. How you doing, by the way, Sam Crow? I'm surprised you guys have never seen Space Harrier, actually. Now, the original game actually came out with a hydraulic cabinet in the arcade. It's my dream to own one one day. How many quarters did I spend in the arcade at this? Oh, a lot. On a good day, I can get through the arcade version with less than a dozen lives. I probably used 20 last time. But as you could see, I got through the first half of the game without losing a single one. So it just depends on the day. Just, just about how much rhythm you got. This game's very rhythm based. Oh, come on. You didn't fucking touch me. Get ready. <sighs> Man, we need a. This is terrible. This is a nightmare run. Get ready. That's all right. I'm gonna give it one more. I'm gonna give it one more try. If we lose all our lives, anyway, just have to survive this, and we got the bonus level. Just got home from work. 
the wife and kids are asleep, having a beer, watching the stream, reading the news of the world. You know what? That actually sounds a lot like one of my days, my friend. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're relaxing with a beer, sir. You work hard, you deserve it. Go. Oh, thank you, Bill. Yeah, man. I, I occasionally throw in an obscure one, but you know, I try to find a balance between the obscure titles and the ones that are popular. There we go. So yeah, this is a bonus level. The more points we earn, the more lives we get. You, you get a you get a free life for every million points in Space Harrier too. So you really want to take advantage of these sections, especially with the start we've had, jeez. We should get one more lock coming here, hopefully. There we go. We've got a ton of these pods, pearls, whatever you want to call them, clams. There we go. Uh, so we're about to, okay. We're okay. Again, in this version, the bosses are not hard. It's just the levels that you need to survive in. <laughs> you can see they shoot incredibly quick at you. Very intimidating. Oh, gosh. All right, we survived that. That bit usually always lose a life. And you played Mega Man 5 last night. How'd you go? Brian's actually doing all the Mega Man games together as well, my friend. I feel like uh, this new Mega Man 11 game that came out has got everyone hooked on the franchise again. And uh, rightfully so, because I thought Mega Man 11 was amazing, to be honest. It was a great game. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get ready. Oh, got cramped in there, didn't I? These just look really, really hard to avoid. Oh my gosh. Fuck off. <laughs> Get ready. That's just not happening today. let down of a game that everyone loves yours is Call of Duty oh, that's a good question Sam Crow let me oh crap let me think about that for a second biggest let down of a game that everyone loves um yeah let me get back to you on that because that's a really really good question all right we got him as in one I don't like yeah I understood the question I'm just trying to have a think about it Ah, uh, jeez, okay. I'm having a big think about that now. That is a really, really good question. <laughs> is it alright if I rain check on that question, Sam Crow? My brain hasn't entirely woken up yet. And a big welcome to everyone who's just come in. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a great start to your or great end to your weekend, I should say. Thanks Get for ready. watching today. I th I th you know what? The, the, the Call of Duty franchise is very overrated, but with that being said, I just want to come up with a different answer to you, you know what I mean? But I would agree with you on that. I haven't really enjoyed a Call of Duty game since Black Ops 1. I, you know what, no, to be fair, I liked Modern Warfare 3 as well. I also thought that was good. You know, especially when they introduced Killed Confirmed for the first time. I thought that was pretty neat. But 
Uh, after those games, I was a bit meh on Call of Duty. Ah, gotcha, Mikey. No, no problem, man. Mikey, I think you're awesome sub or no sub anyway, so please don't let it stress you out, my friend. Just going round and round in circles here. They'll eventually piss off by themselves, I think. Yep, there we go. We're only holding on to four lives here. It's going to be touch and go at the end. You always like the Battlefield series better? I feel like both games were okay depending on your mood, you know, like Call of Duty was always supposed to be about quick movements and running and gunning. That's why I hate snipers and campers in Call of Duty, it kind of ruins the flow for me. Get ready. Uh, but Battlefield, like, you could sit in a trench for an hour and you'd actually enjoy the game because it's just fun. It's just a different design. The combat mechanics aren't as fluid in uh, Battlefield, I don't think. Well, not arcadey enough, I mean. Y2K all over again, <laughs> probably. How you doing, Wolven Fields? We've got Joe in the house. Thanks for coming in, brother. How you doing today? Just playing through the Space Area Trilogy, my friend. Very badly today, unfortunately, but the show's going to go on. Gotta survive. We're just gonna survive to one more bonus level. Get Might ready. get it. We may still have half a chance to get to the end of the game. Oh my gosh, this is, this is really hard. This is really hard. <laughs> you felt I had a better storyline? Yeah. They did focus a bit on the story, especially. Yeah. Medal of Honor. You know, I never got into that franchise, unfortunately. I really wish I did, though. I heard the PS... Not many people say nice things about the PS3 version, but I know they had a lot of Medal of Honor games on PS2, which were popular. What's your favorite Medal of Honor game? I'm going to get the sucker here. When she starts going red, you know she's almost dead. That was not supposed to rhyme on purpose. There we go, she's almost dead here. Survive one more round, unfortunately. Oh, we got the bish. <laughs> Alright. I think we're just going to do this level, guys, and then we have another bonus stage. Alright. How you doing, Brian? Good to see you. Some bitch for life, my friend. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck off, really? Get ready? Oh, there was a Medal of Honor game on PS1 too? I don't remember that one, actually. I just remember the PS... I just remember the ones on PS2. That's cool. <laughs> you wouldn't be... Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, if I, if I was a five-year-old kid, I want that woman to read me my bedtime stories, you know what I mean? <laughs> ah... Crap. We're in big trouble here, guys. Like, really, really big trouble. If I lose another life, it's game over before the end of this level. It's alright. We just need to survive. Ugh. A cool retro game, Buck Rogers? That, that sounds really, really familiar, but I can't remember why I know that. 
Oh, we sub I think we're gonna sub Is this a bonus level yet? Okay, we're all good. What was Buck Rogers again, and what platform was it on? There we go. Clams give the most points. That's that's a hot tip on this one. How you doing, Adrian? Good to have you, man. How's your day going? Thanks for hanging out, good sir. How's your weekend treating you? Yeah, man, just, this is just my warm-up for the day. Just doing the Space Area Trilogy and then, uh... Alright, how many of these am I gonna get? So, as I said, every million points you get another life, but apart from that, we've only got four lives here to get to the end of the game. That's a big ask. Oh, that's a real big ask. All right. Let's keep my head down here. These enclosed levels are really intimidating too, for whatever reason. Oh, Mother's Day in Argentina? Oh, very happy Mother's Day to your mother, my friend. Is it different, a different date everywhere in the world? I'm not sure. Uh, Mother's Day in Australia is in May, and then Father's Day in Australia is in September. First weekend of both months. That's really interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, we survived. Great. Used to be a TV series here. Yeah, it sounds like something that I used to hear about on TV. Interesting. And it was released on Sega Genesis and Xbox, apparently Xbox One now. Alright, man. Well, remind me to do some research into it, hey? Oh, oh welcome back, Payron. Glad to see you're still here. Alright, so we've got stage 10, 11, 12, and then the final level. You know what, guys? We may survive. You, you, you gotta believe in yourself, hey? But we may survive this. Ironically, I usually lose my most lives in this level. Oh, gosh. Come on, Rick, stay alive. Stay alive, you sumbish. Thanks a bunch. I can't believe I haven't heard of it. Well, I mean, I've heard of Buck Rogers, it's not the game. You got super. I'm gonna read your comment in a little second, my friend. I'm just gonna wait till this level's done. I'll wait till I'm up to the boss. Got Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. But, and 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 the spot for NES for twenty bucks. Get ready. Man, you love your bargains, bro. I'm <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna have to do my shopping with you, Payron. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Get ready? That's frustrating. Alright, come on, Rick. Keep forgetting about the pattern on this one. Alright, we got him. Just wasted two lives there after such a great start. <laughs> It's alright, we can still beat this sunbish. This is the second last level before the boss run. wait to come to the United States because game collecting in the United States is a lot more convenient it's easier to find stuff because it's a big market over there I kind of wish I had more money last visit 
I would have bought more stuff. But I'm going to try and pick up a GameCube and a Sega Dreamcast next time I'm in the United States. Oh, great. Oh, that's so good. We didn't lose a life. Awesome. So you're just going to go down diagonally once it splits. Easy boss if you're paying attention. There we go. We just got another life. So we've got five lives to get to the end of the game, which is really, really good considering we were down to our last life at one point. And then before the final boss run, the next level is the last level. So we'd have to really suck to lose five lives in the last level here. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> Again, a big thank you to everyone who just came in the room, guys. I hope you're having a great Sunday. Welcome to OneCoin. This is our first of four streams today between uh, YouTube and Facebook. And we've got a bonus game coming after this too, guys, which is Space Harrier 3D. As I said, I've never ever streamed that before. It's going to be a bit of fun. Hopefully the continue code works in that too. Give it our best shot. Oh, thank you, Jones. Man, I'm pretty happy about that too, bro. <laughs> Crap. That's we're still okay here. Spot for the NES was a classic. I haven't heard of Spot, man. What's with all these awesome games I've never heard of? Crap. Okay, keep calm, Rick. Uh, that's two lives. <laughs> that's the end? Okay. So we've got the boss run again. I'll probably earn one more life while I'm doing this boss run. So that'll leave me maybe three lives to do Dark Harrier with, which is the final boss. Oh yeah, I've heard of Cool Spot, of course. Just not Spot. I don't know what Spot. Spot Spot was a dog in those books. Remember Spot the dog? I, I yeah, I know who Spot the dog is because that was a favourite childhood book when I was in kindergarten and stuff. And then you also, well, who was that uh, big dog? The big red dog, the giant dog. That was Clifford, wasn't it, or something? That was. I'm trying to remember who which one was what. I think Spot the dog also had a cartoon. I didn't realize School Spot was on the NES as well, was it really? Damn, I'm gonna look for that. That's cool. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> oh, I just, I see what I did there. Clifford the Big Red Dog. Yeah, I remember those books. <laughs> oh, what a nostalgia trip. It's not just games, it's like kids' books as well. Right, this is the boss run now. Show. Yeah, should I do a YouTube channel where I read story? You know, that would be a great channel for kids. You know, if I did a YouTube channel where I read a different book for kids every episode, I would probably go viral. That is a pretty good idea for a channel. But then, if I got a word wrong, I'd probably say the F word and then lose everyone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get ready. So Clifford the Big Red Dog was really, really sad and said, fuck! <laughs> and then all the kids would get angry. All the parents would get angry at me. Yeah, maybe I wouldn't be good at, at doing a kid's channel. <laughs> Do 
read a night before the Christmas, but do a dirty version. Is there a dirty version? I should read it like Morgan Freeman. Just set that soothing, relaxing voice. And good to see you, Sean. How you doing today, my friend? Thanks for playing Mario Kart with me yesterday, bro. That was such an awesome time. went to an arcade bar and the arcade machines weren't working but Fortnite was working. That sucks. It was a really shame actually. Retro World Expo, a lot of the machines there were getting a bit faulty as well but they were pretty old after all. Yeah man. I'm gonna, depending on how much I get paid over the next few weeks, I'm going to get a lot more Switch games bro so we can do more multiplayer stuff. We'll do it on YouTube too man. It's a little bit easy to follow the, uh, the YouTube chat when we do Switch stuff. Oh, we got him. Have you seen on YouTube Samuel L. Jackson reading Go the F- <laughs> That's awesome! I want to see that, link me up. We're about to get another life here, thankfully. So uh, this boss we just need to, to circle. You can't kill this boss, it disappears on its own. Don't know how that works, but anyway. Just doing the circly, circly, circly. <laughs> God, yeah, Bill says I'd have all those little kids saying the F word. I would. That's such a good idea for a channel, though. Like, reading storybooks for kids. Like, I'm really, really good with kids. That's a, a nice idea for a second channel, actually. It'd be nice to do something for... I don't know. It'd be nice to do something for kids as well. You know. It's cool that kids can stay innocent for as long as they can. They don't need to put up with the pressures of the world. So cute yesterday, Sean. Sure. We got Jigga 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 82382. How you going, my friend? Thanks for coming in. You like Mario Brothers for the Nintendo Switch? Mario Odyssey is a lot of fun. I haven't given myself enough of a chance to get into it yet, but I'm hoping to stream that too. <laughs> Jeez. Maybe I can do a stream channel just for kid. Yeah, I don't know. Something to think about. I always always come up with new ideas. Ah, gotcha, Brian. Yeah. You guys are going to have to take me to some of these arcade bars uh, when I come to the United States next, hey? I know you do, Sean. <laughs> Well, if, if, you, if your little daughter starts swearing, it's not my fault. <laughs> Run a slight delay in Iris. Yeah, but you know... Yeah. There's probably a few plans of attack for it. Well, you know, as I said, I don't mean to cuss so much. Like, uh... You know, usually I'm a, I'm a real gentleman, you guys, you know, but when I get anxiety, that's when I swear. It's like my Achilles heel. When I stress out, I drop a, a swear word. But you know, when I'm calm and I'm chill, like, you know, I'm just like this now. I'm just chilled out. <laughs> oh, you're leaving, Adrian? All right, man. You take care of yourself, brother. Thanks for hanging out with us, my man, hey? Always good to see you, sir. Ah, damn it. Get ready. 
dance rush machine? What's a dance rush machine? Oh, I missed him. Alright, we're gonna wait here. And we'll get him. Damn, I keep missing the sucker. Try to, you try to, you're gonna shoot in his office. That's a dirty word, but that's where you're gonna shoot him. <laughs> he does a little bit, actually, Sean. Well, I mean, it's the same company, same sound chip. Altered Beast and Space Harrier 2, Sean, were made in the same year. So that probably explains a lot. Exactly, Payron. I think a lot of people are, my man. Oh, got the sucker. Shoot him in the hole. <laughs> oh, goodness. These, these uh, worlds or levels or whatever they're called, they've got really strange names, too. Well, thank you, Bill. I've had a few people come in the room not be too impressed with me. <laughs> All right. I think I think as soon as we beat this guy, it's Dark Carrier, so we're almost done. Four life should be enough to take care of him. Dark Harrier. So I don't know if there's multiple endings in this game, but it, when I beat, when I finally win this battle, it doesn't feel like a good ending. It's really weird because he disappears on his, his own. It's really hard to hit too. See, I'm not, I don't think I've, I've only landed maybe one or two shots on him, actually. Oh, damn it. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Get ready. <laughs> ah, crap. Just have to do it the easy way. We don't want to throw it away on the final boss, do we? Yeah, sounds good, Joshy, man. Thanks for coming to hang out, bro. It's always good to see your face in here, sir. Hopefully we'll catch it during the week, hey? Have a great Sunday, bro. So, as I said, I think he's about to disappear on his own. This battle's epic. Let's see, I put a couple shots on him. There we go. Come on, die. Yeah, so he ran away. See? I think that always happens. So let's read the credits again. I can't believe we actually finished this after the start we had. But that's why you never give up, people. If I'm going to teach you anything about this playthrough today, it's never give up. I was like on my last life halfway through the game, and things look seriously fucked. But we managed to finish it. So... Never give up, guys. I taught you guys a life lesson. <laughs> oh, I guess so, man. This, this looks exactly like what the future's going to be like. Uh, Auburn Films, my friend, Joey. <laughs> and uh, you had a second and better playing of Mega Man 4 and beat Mega Man 3 for the first time last night. So you're going to do 1 and 6 and get to set... Do number 1. Number 1's pretty short, bro. Just get that one over with. Number 1's one of my favourite. Anticlimatic. It is a little bit. You too, Mikey. Alright, brother. Thanks for hanging out, my man. We'll see you later in the day. We've just got one more bonus game to go anyway. This is going to play out the credits here. I 
think you're gonna keep pressing the skip screen. No, it's gonna do it automatically. It's just a bit slow. You play Mega Man 5 having a hell of a time with Starman. I think I got stuck on Starman too. I think I did that live and I had to get the audience to help me. There we go. So I guess you could, I guess we're gonna have to play the credits out. It's part of when I do YouTube streams, I like to play the credits out if we get people watching them back. So hopefully they won't be too long. Uh, but as I said, next game is Space Harrier 3D. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish that one. Uh, but I do have the continue code next to me on the right, which we'll try out at uh, the game over screen anyway. So we'll just talk for a minute before the next game. Stone Man? I don't remember Stone Man, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. What else is happening today, guys? Let's fill in the next minute and a half. So uh, the next game is a treat, as I said, the next game is very, very rare, not only to see on a stream, but also in 2D mode. A little bit of a hacky hacky going on. Have I got Stan? No, I think um, we've, uh, we've actually got a, a code for a free month of Stan though, so we can try it out. And you think we should try a show called Insomnia? Alright, I'll let my roomie know. Dodgers versus Red Sox in the World Series. Who you got? Ah. Uh, two traditionally awesome teams. That is a... That is a, a very... I mean, I'm not a big baseball guy anymore, but that's a tough question, because they've both got a, a good heritage. I'm going to go with the Red Sox, but... I'm going to go with Brian on that. Alright, let's load up the next game. <laughs> I hope I didn't ruin any friendships by saying that. So it's going to load up Space Area 3D. Give me a second, guys. Just looking for it. I've got a ton of games here. All right. So I'm going to press F8. As you can see, we're in 2D mode now. Let's give this a go. We'll have a couple games if we get stuck. You hate the Red Sox? I knew you were going to tell me that. I just had a funny feeling. So this Space Area 3D game was actually released on Sega Master System. So as you can see, it's a lot more pixelated. But it's still got the 16-bit sound engine. <laughs> I hope I didn't ruin any friendships. As I said, when we get to the game over screen, I'm going to use the save state, and I'm just going to try out a couple codes. So. But hey, finishing two out of three ain't bad. How you doing, CJ? Good to see you, man. Thanks for hanging out with us today, sir. Good to see you. What's going on, my friend? hear the music in this, it's a lot more peaceful. Oh, almost very melodic. Uh, what's really cool about this game though is each level has its own music. I think it's uh... Oh, one second. There's a big variety of music in this Space Harry game unlike the others. Meatloaf sucks. Me <laughs> Meatloaf sung a song about how he won't do that, but I don't know if he sung a song about that. Oh, really? Well, that sucks. <laughs> this, the first level is actually pretty long, isn't it? Alright, boss time. Same, same principle with the bosses in Space Area 3D, it's just the whole circling thing. And a fun little fact, guys, this was the first ever Sega Master System game that I played, I think. 
I remember when my aunt first got Sega Master System and I visited her on holidays, the first two games that she had uh, was Double Dragon and Space Harrier 3D. So I have a lot of nostalgia for this game too. Big thank you for joining us again, guys. This is our warm-up stream for the day. We've got another three streams coming, as I said, uh, between Facebook and YouTube. So next on YouTube and Facebook, we've got the Titans of Co-op coming on with some beat-em-ups. And then once they're done, I'm going to come on with Power Rangers and Ninja Baseball Batman. And then we're going to finish off on YouTube today with some Hyrule Warriors. So uh, we're going from old school to new school, my friends. Got a big mixture for you all. Spent many 20 cent pieces on Double Dragon. You know I didn't play uh, the original Double Dragon arcade game till I was 12 years old at my milk bar. I only ever played the console versions until then. So you know I played. I originally played Double Dragon on Sega when I was eight. I finally played the NES version when I was nine. Uh, but yeah, it took me years to actually get to the original arcade version. So naturally, when I saw it, I thought it was weird. Ah <laughs> oh, crap. Alright, we're going to save here. We're going to try and use the continue code. There we go. Use the continue. Great. That works. Nice to know this continue code works. Oh, we'll keep trying for a little while. Yeah. Just trying to stay awake long enough to do Hyrule Warriors. I'll be fine. As you can see, I absolutely stink at Space Harrier 3D compared to the rest. I don't know why, because it's not really any different to the others. Oh no, I play arcade games a lot, my friend. But I was playing a lot of arcade games, uh, so I was just giving him a rest for a while. But uh, what arcade games would you like to see, Mr. Sam Pro? We'll be getting back to it. Oh, you mean, do, do I actually go to the arcade to play arcade games now? Not anymore. But I want to do some live on location streams from the arcade very, very soon. Uh, once I have the budget and the people to help me. Something I've been planning for a long time but just haven't done yet. We'll have a special section for arcade streaming. Like live on location stuff. We'll make our own playlist. Sweet the fish. <laughs> How you doing, Sylvain? Oh yeah, man. We're doing Space Area 3D for the first time today, sir. I don't know if you ever spent a lot of time on the 3D version. Oh, gosh. Oh, you heard great things about Warriors of Roshi 4. I've never gotten to the Roshi series. I love Dynasty Warriors, but I just didn't enjoy how far-fetched the Roshi series was, I think, so I just couldn't get into it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe one day. You wonder if I'm any good at the claw machine? I, I've won plenty of prizes on that thing, but you do know, Bill, some of them are rigged, so it does depend. But uh, I, I like to show off on the claw machine, to be honest, my friend. I've, I've won girls many prizes on dates back in the day. Not showing off, of course. <laughs> this is the third level. We're all saved up here. You're gonna hear the music changes. It gets more intense as you go along, too. It is similar to 3D World Runner. Alright, let's see if we can use the continue again. No. I just got my head down for a little second. Yeah, 3D World Runner was actually a copy of Space Harry, I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, damn. Terrible. Alright, let's try again here. 
Yep, we've got another continue going, it's all good. You think this looks like the special stage room? Oh yeah, this kind of does have a Sonic 3D look about it, doesn't it? I'll try a couple more times. <laughs> I'm glad I saved this one to last. So I knew this one was going to give me the most trouble. Works, why not? Yeah, I agree, my friend. Ah, damn it! <laughs> Don't blame you for that, Sam Crow. Oh, Jonesy, thank you so much. Gonna pause the game very quickly. Jonesy just sent $5 super chat. My man, thank you very much for your kindness. This one's going out to you. Emilio! Hey, you guys! Remind me, guys, I still need to, to make a new, uh, uh, thank you screen as well. <laughs> I might make one actually after uh, we're done here. We'll see. Now I don't, I don't want to die again here because then we have to start. What, what really sucks about the continue code in this game is you die, you have to start all the way back at the start of the level again. Fuck, like that. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 2 one, two, one, one. Oh, Sean, thank you so much, man. Sean just sent $10 super chat. My brother, this one's going out to you. Thank you for your kindness, sir. Emilio! Ellis DeWall! <laughs> you want to see that one, too? We could do that one. We can do that one. Yeah, we'll do that one too. You get Ellis DeWald with the, the What Is Love soundtrack. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you so much for your generosity, man. That's awesome. I kind of did a hybrid there, didn't I? <laughs> now I have to get good. Can you guys give me super chats? Now I need to give you your money's worth. Right, let's try this level again. We'll get it this time. If I die, I'll use a save state. We're going to resort to that now. Get good, Rick, get good. <laughs> uh, how you doing, the Mimic? Good to see you again. How you been? It's been a little while. Thanks for hanging out, my friend. How you doing, by the way? What's going on this weekend? Oh, that's right, I get confused because these guys make a double movement. Okay, that's what. Okay, we should be okay here now. It's, it's, a, it's a really weird double move. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I'll save again. Do I have the non 3D version of this game? Oh, yeah, I've got that too. I've already done Space Harrier 1 and 2, my friend. You came in late, unfortunately, Sylvain. You can watch back the video. I was going to do the Sega version as well. But I thought I'd just go through them in chronological order, you know what I mean? Damn it. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's save. Let's get up to the damn boss already. We're just going to keep reloading this save state. I'm not going to continue here a billion times. It's frustrating. Alright, save state again. Oh, and that's why. That is why. <laughs> We got Retro Storm in here too. Oh, Retro Storm! Good to see you, my friend. Thanks for hanging out. Fuck off! Thanks for no, not you, Retro Storm. Thanks for hanging out with us today, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, this uh, Space Harrier three Ds give me an absolute hiding. Oh, this is really hard. Oh my gosh, man, I can't. I wonder, it makes me wonder if I've ever beaten this level ever. Alright, let's save here. Ugh. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, but I'm not going to do Legend Mode until I've powered up my characters. Once I've powered up my characters, we can play Legend Mode. 
but I plan on doing adventure mode on a stream as well, Brian, by the way, just so you know. Alright, we made it. We actually made it. Cool. We'll take it. Oh, nice one! Yeah, I want to do something a little bit new as well. Play the classics and then add a bonus. This was the first Sega Master System game I played, Sylvain. The 3D version. Nice looking levels. Yeah, I know. Sorry, Retro Storm. <laughs> You're pretty rude. It was funny, though. <laughs> that was comedy. It was almost it was almost like it was planned. What are these, what are these voodoo dolls doing? What do I actually say from here? You're gonna rely on the save states a bit more, I think. Oh, they're coming back at me. Of course they are. Are you watching me and Forrest Gump at the same time? I I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I love. I'm gonna. Oh, I did. I got an extra life. Great. I absolutely love the movie Forrest Gump. I think that's an absolute classic. I, I, I know it's a far-fetched movie, but I like the moral of the story. You know, ordinary men can do really great things. No, I think it's a nice movie to watch. One of your favourite games is Life Force. Was it you that so many people... I think it was Honkers that asked me to do Life Force and I rage quitted. I had finished Life Force before using save states. But man, Bill, that game is brutal. I will do Life Force again just for you, my friend. But you're going to see me swear my head off. Which you probably don't mind too much. <laughs> just being straight up. There we go. So, it's the next level. Heem. I don't remember this level at all, actually. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, I might try and use the code again. 21211. One, one. Ah, you've only got... Okay, I'm going to reload here. I think you've only got three continues, so this is pretty much our last chance. So let's give it another shot. Oh, you used to draw Space Harry in your comic book? We'll try the continue code one more time after this. Oh, there's a second continue code that may work. It's a little bit more complicated. But we'll see how we go. You could start on easy difficulty and can it up any time during legend mode. Ah, I'd, I'd rather just... We'll, we'll see how we go. Let me just save here. Let's see if I could do it. Two one two two one one two one two two. Nah, there's no more continues. Damn it! Oh, it looks like we're gonna end there today, guys. I took a chance because I thought the second continue code would work, but it's not. So unfortunately, well, you know what? You saw the end of Space Harrier one and two. I'm gonna have to save Space Harrier three for another time. But guys, I'm gonna actually free up the airways because the time to co-op are coming on very very soon. But as I said, I'll be back another two times today. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. Thank you again for your generosity and your kind super chats, guys. Uh, don't forget, we have the green join button as well, guys, if you want to become a sponsor of the page. And uh, that helps our growth. We'll also do special uh, sponsor-only streams in the future going forward as well. So that's something to look forward to. And uh, you be good, guys. I'll see you later in the day. You take care of yourselves, hey? Much love, you sumbish army. Ha, ha, ha.